Alrighty, hey everyone. Um, today I'm gonna to talk to you about something called the vagus nerve. It's pretty awesome, okay? Um, it's basically a super highway in the body and it's a long crucial nerve that extends from both sides of the brainstem and it wanders and branches through the body and it touches several major organs, right? Stomach and digestive tract, lungs, heart, spleen, intestines, liver and kidneys. Um, so it influences a lot of major organs in the body, uh, which is why it's um, you know really crucial um, and, and referred to as the body's superhighway. Um, it's the main pathway of communication between the brain, the nervous system, and the gut. This rest and digestive, this rest and digest system conserves energy as it slows the heart rate increases intestinal and gland activity, and relaxes sphincter muscles in the gastrointestinal tract. It's made up of thousands of nerve fibers, 80% of them sensory, meaning that the nerve reports back to your brain what is happening in your organs. It's the reason we have the mind-body connection. Uh, the vagus nerve controls the autonomic nervous system. The ANS is responsible for rest and digest, and is the counterpoint of the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight, flight, or freeze. Um, so the ANS operates just below the level of the conscious mind, and that's everything we do from like breathing um, to just you know all the chemical reactions that happen in our body without us thinking. Um, that's the autonomic uh, autonomic nervous system. Um, that's you know digesting all of our food. We don't think about that stuff. We don't think about breathing. The body just does it. That's the autonomic nervous system. Um, so when the body's not under stress, the vagus nerve sends commands that slow the heart rate and breathing rate and increase digestion. In times of stress, control shifts to the sympathetic nervous system, which produces the opposite effect. When we experience chronic stress, our vagal tone becomes weak. And a weak vagal tone is linked to a multitude of health problems, including chronic pain, anxiety, mood swings, insomnia, gut inflammation, digestive issues, cardiovascular issues, and that's just naming a few. So um, if we've got weak vagal tone, lots of, uh, lots of issues, we're gonna be unwell, we're not gonna be thriving. A strong vagal tone, on the, on the other hand, is associated with emotional stability. How good's that? Low inflammation, oh, fucking love low inflammation. A feeling of well-being, oh, so this is off the charts. An improved bodily function and is essential for our mental well-being and physical health. It's fucking unreal, guys, I tell you. Um, and how do we, um, you know, how do we achieve um, a strong vagal tone? How do we keep the vagus nerve, you know, in good condition and working with us um, instead of the opposite, you know, having a weak, weak vagal tone? How do we do it? It's easy, it's so easy. Breathing, breathing, deep breaths, like any sort of pranayama, breath work. You know, it could be Wim Hof breathing, could be alternate nostril breathing, could be Ujjayi breathing, which you do in yoga. Um, could just be taking a few deep breaths, like once a day. That's it. Like, that's all going to help improve vagal nerve tone. So that's number one, breathing or breath work or pranayama as we refer to it in Ayurvedic medicine or, or in yoga. Number two, cold exposure is so good for us guys. We know this now, Wim Hof has done all the studies, he's proved it scientifically. It's been studied and studied and studied and studied. We know cold exposure is good for the human body and we know the benefits are off the charts, okay? Um, cold showers, you can take a little cold shower, you know, um, you can do hot cold showers or you can do a full ice bath or you can go out in the ocean or a creek that's cold. Okay, whatever it is, the more cold therapy that you do, that's gonna improve the vagal tone, okay? And lead to all those health benefits that I listed earlier. Number three, meditation. Massive, massive, right? It says here, meditation has been shown to increase vagal activity, reduce sympathetic activity, which we know, that's obvious. Anyone who's meditated before knows that meditation reduces sympathetic activity. Sympathetic activity just means stress, okay? Um, and it, meditation increases vagal modulation, 
All right. In one study, meditators that deeply practice loving kindness, leaving leave feeling happier and more socially connected, showed an increase in vagal tone. Easy. Okay. Um, if you want to learn how to meditate, book in a consult with me. I'll sort you out. Um, probiotics are good too. Um, certain strains like lactobacillus have shown increase uh, GABA in stimulation of vagus nerve. Uh, another study found that the probiotic strain Bifidobacterium longum normalized anxiety-like behavior in mice. So, yeah, if, um, if you feel like you've got a really weak vagal tone, maybe check out some probiotics, chat to a naturopath, um, and specifically mention the Lactobacillus and the Bifidobacterium longum. Give them a go and see if that helps you improve your health and well-being. Number five, yoga. Yoga is amazing. Yoga increases something called GABA, um, a calming neuro, neurotransmitter in your brain. That's what GABA is. Um, so there's a, calm, there's a neuro, neurotransmitter in your brain that has a calming effect on the body. That's called GABA. Yoga increases GABA. Okay, that's why yoga is so good for you, one, one reason. Um, researchers believe it's done, it does this by stimulating vagal afferents, which increase activity in the parasympathetic nervous system. And the parasympathetic nervous system is just, that's when you feel nice and calm and chilled and relaxed. You might have had some cannabis oil, that always puts you in the parasympathetic. You might have done some yin yoga or meditation, that's all gonna put you in parasympathetic. Um, Mentions pranayama again, which is just the breathing exercises. Um, so yeah, yoga is amazing. So just do yoga, guys. It's simple. Um, sing, number six, singing and chanting. Okay, um, you know I, I practice a lot of shamanism with my work. Uh, do a lot of shamanic healings for people. You know the first question when you go to a shaman, a proper shaman, the, like in, in like in the ancient, if you go to the to the Andes in Peru or whatever, like the first question they ask you is. When did you stop singing? When did you stop dancing? Because um, that's a very important part of their culture and that keeps the vag vagus nerve healthy, improves vagal tone and, and enhances health and well-being. So singing at the top of your lungs increases oxytocin and works the muscles in the back of the throat connected to the vagus nerve. To activate the vagus nerve, don't stop singing in the shower. Basically just sing whenever you can, join a choir, um, do, Go to yoga and do, do, do chanting. We do om chanting in, in, in my yoga classes that I teach. Um, chant om regularly, you know, chant om as much as you can. Just om, like do it long, yep. Um, that's easy. Uh, massage, number seven. Um, can You can manually stimulate the vagus nerve by massaging certain areas of the body. A neck massage um, in particular, the right side of your throat. Um, stimulates the vagus nerve. Foot massage can also increase vagal modulation, which is pretty amazing. Um, and also that will help to lower blood pressure. So yeah. Um, now, number eight, fasting. Okay, I'm a big fan of fasting. Um, I often will only have one meal a day and that's dinner, you know, just a small dinner. Highly nutritious though, very nutrient dense. So I'm still getting lots of vitamins and minerals and everything my body needs, but Fasting all day, you might fast until midday, have your first meal at lunchtime. Um, practice some fasting. You might fast for 24 hours, you might do it 48 hours. Just start slow if you're gonna do it. Um, but fasting has been shown to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which we know, it's obvious. If you've ever fasted, you'll know that. You've, you would have felt it, you feel calmer when you haven't eaten um, because you just your body's not putting all that energy into digesting food, so you can relax a lot more. So makes, it's just common sense guys. Digestion is energy intensive, so giving the body a break from digesting food sends extra energy towards rebuilding the nervous system and relaxing the body. How good's that? This is also an easy habit to continue long after um, you've started. So once you start, you can just continue it for a very long time. It's easy, it gets easier the more you practice it. So try a bit of fasting. If you need guidance and help, just come and see me, I'll help you out. Um, number nine, last one, is laughing. Um, and I would also add in dancing too. I think dancing is really important. Uh, it's not mentioned here, but uh, laughing tends to reduce the sympathetic nervous system. We know that when we laugh, we just, we're not stressed. You can't be stressed and laugh at the same time. It's, it's physically impossible. Um, so reduces sympathetic nervous system activity while increasing parasympathetic. Um, so 
you're more chilled and relaxed when you're laughing, having a good time. I love cannabis. Cannabis oils are the best. They just, you laugh, you laugh, you laugh. Mushrooms are good too. Laugh, laugh, laugh on the mushroom medicine. Um, all those plant medicines, sacred medicines, they, they make you laugh because we're supposed to laugh and we forget and the world's so serious and it's a fuck. All right, so don't forget to laugh, all right? Otherwise, you're gonna, gonna be unwell for a long time. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of health challenges. I don't mean that in a harsh way, but just it's simple, just laugh more. Go see a comedian if you don't wanna do medicine work or anything like that. Just go and have a good time, do things that are fun, find, find joy in your life and just work the rest of your life around that, you know? Um, this may be caused, so laughing, we're talking about laughing uh, and the par parasympathetic stimulation that may be caused by the diaphragm stimulating the vagus nerve, okay, which is really interesting. So I work a lot with the diaphragm because I know how important the diaphragm is for core strength, uh, for breathing, for the support of the spinal column. If you don't have a strong diaphragm, then you're gonna have a lot of issues, probably back issues first, um, all up the spine and your whole body really, like um, from that, origin of not having a strong diaphragm. So your diaphragm sits here, just below um, sort of the sternum area. It's, and, um, it's like a balloon and it sort of fills up and, and depresses, goes up and down uh, when you breathe. And um, so when you laugh, it, it's, it's really going hard. And what they're saying here, and, and it's not like scientifically confirmed, but they think that that uh, those compressions when you laugh is stimulating the vagus nerve, which does make a lot of sense. Um, so hopefully they do some more studies on that at some point and uh, they might be able to confirm that, but it's, it's very interesting and it does make sense to me. Um, so yeah, spend time with friends and family that make you feel good and just, just laugh and it's real simple. So that's a vagus nerve. Um, I'm, I'm just uh, had a meeting the other day. We're gonna run some ice baths events, me and um, another business partner of mine we're gonna start running ice bath events here in Ballarat um, in the next few weeks. So we're gonna get lots of people together. We're gonna to do Wim Hof breathing. I'm gonna take everyone through the Wim Hof breathing. We're gonna move a bit of chi around, get everyone feeling good and psyched up. Then we're gonna get them in the cold uh, plunge pool. We can fit six people in this, um, this ice bath that we've got. It's gonna be full of ice, it's gonna be freezing cold. We're all gonna get in there six at a time and three minutes, and well, as long as, long as you're able to, but about three minutes we're gonna aim for and then we're gonna, that's gonna stimulate the vagus, the vagus nerve like nothing else, and it's gonna, you're gonna feel so different, that's gonna change your life. So keep an eye out for future ice bath events. Just follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram are the best ones to go. Ash Bodie Wellness, um, everything goes up there. So just follow those pages, um, www.zazenfitness, Z-A-Z-E-N fitness, www.zazenfitness, uh, that's my website. Um, there's more information on there too. But social media is where you'll find out all the events and everything. Um, but you can reach out to me and just send me a message anytime as well. Lots of love, guys. Hope you enjoyed learning about the vagus nerve. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.